In this video, I'm going to show you Dart, which is an AI powered project management tool with a ton of built in features designed to transform the way that you work. I'm going to show you how you can stay organized, make better decisions and deliver results faster. Whether you're a solo developer shipping your first SaaS or a team tackling ambitious goals, I'll walk you through all of the AI powered innovations Dart has to offer and show you exactly how you can get started to make 2025 your most productive year yet. Once you've made an account, the platform looks just like this. The first thing that you can do is you can create a space. So you can have multiple spaces here. Let's just call this my first SaaS and we'll say that this is launching in 2025. Within here, you can define whether you have sprint cycles, you can automatically generate standup reports as well as change log reports. You can set the repetition of having this daily at a particular time. And then you can go and you can pull this up within standup. You can see all of the different action items. You also have the ability to share the entire workspace or you can share this with specific team members as well. So in this case, I'm just gonna leave it to myself. Once that space is created, you have the ability to create your dartboards just like this. You can create a dartboard and you can just call this to do's and you can also create a document folder. Let's just call this work docs. Right off the bat, let's first just create a task. So what I'm going to say here is I want to, by the end of the week, research a good use case for launching an AI powered application in 2025. So what you can do is you can click this task AI button. You have the option to fill out the properties, break into subtasks, improve the description, or actually even do the task. Let's first fill out the properties. What this is going to do is it's going to grab the context of what you put within the title and the description. So it's going to mark the priority. It's going to mark the due date. And then it's also going to gauge the size of this task here. Now let's break this into subtasks. So if I go and click to generate the subtask for this, in a number of seconds, we generated all of these subtasks. Identify current AI trends and technologies relevant to 2025. Analyze market demands and potential gaps for AI applications. Research successful AI applications and their use cases, so on and so forth. Next, you can click to improve the description if you have something here. But additionally, what you can do is you can just click the forward slash and there's a number of different options here as well. So you can fill out the properties, again, break it into subtasks like we did, brainstorm methods, write a description. Let's go ahead and write a description since we don't already have one. It's generating the description for us to successfully identify a promising use case for an AI powered application to launch in 2025. You'll have to conduct thorough research and analysis. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. And here it gives you even further information that you can act upon. Last, what you can do is you can assign the AI to do this task. If I just go here, what you can do is I can add Dart AI as the assignee for this task. And as soon as I create this task, we see that it has all of the different steps here. And what I can do is I can go and what I personally like is the Kanban board. And now after just a moment, we see that at this top level task, if we scroll down here, we see that at the bottom here, we have Dart AI. I can help by writing a detailed guide based on the research process for finding a good AI application use case. Let's explore this together. I've created a research on a good use case for launching an AI powered application in 2025. It tagged me, so I'd get that alert. You can find all the details in this document. So from there, we can just go ahead. We can click this document that it created. And here is essentially a report. Where this can be useful is let's just say, I want to say, create a blog on LLMs. I can go ahead, create that task. But then what I can do is within the assignees at any point, I can just go ahead and assign this to Dart AI and I can go ahead and have it start to work on it. So as soon as I assigned it, we see I'm on it. I'll draft a blog post about large language models for you. It moves the task in doing while it's generating the response. And then really, generally speaking, within seconds, you can have this AI completed. In recent years, the development of artificial intelligence has taken a monumental leap with large language models like OpenAI's GPT-4 leading the way. We have this pretty impressive document. It's straight to the point. It gives you some high level understanding on what a large language model is, and you very well could use this as a blog post if you want it. But at any point, if you want to see all of the different documents, you can just go ahead, click docs, and you can see all of them that were generated. Now, if I go back to our to do's, another great feature with this is you can click this project AI button and you can actually brainstorm tasks and give it a time limit. I'm going to say, I want to generate ideas on how to expand my brand developers digest in 2025, develop a social media content calendar for AI related posts, and I can work alongside with it. So I'm going to say, explore options on how to optimize intros in YouTube. I can create that task. 
And what it will do is alongside with you and potentially other teammates in this process is you can create these little sessions, five, 10 minutes, whatever it might be, and collaborate all together and brainstorm ideas all within one platform. What's great with this is it's leveraging AI in a way where it actually feels like an extension of your team. Sam Altman had a recent blog post and what he said within this was that 2025 is going to be the year that we likely see the first AI agents, quote unquote, join the workforce and materially change the output of companies. And honestly, this feels exactly like something like that, where we're able to leverage these large language models in ways that are practical and feel just like a teammate. But let's just go through some of the suggestions here. Host a live Q&A session on AI advancements and their impact. Arrange interviews with industry leaders about future AI trends. Organize a webinar to showcase AI success stories and applications and so on and so forth. Again, at any point, I can go ahead and I can actually assign this out. If I take this assignee, I assign this to Dart AI again. We can take a look here. It generated this doc. I will create a newsletter segment focusing on recent breakthroughs, AI research and applications. But at any point, what you can do is we can go ahead and stop this brainstorming session. Next, I'll just show you what reports look like. So say if we want to generate a report for our standup, we can go ahead, we can generate that report here. What it will do is it will go through our spaces and it will actually analyze all of the different tasks that we have. Within here, we have unassigned tasks that it's listing out for us. We also have all of the tasks for developers digest. So we can get a sense on what different people are working on, what they've done, what they're doing. And this will give a high level overview that you could quickly go through within a couple minutes to have a sense on how to potentially structure the day. Alternatively, if you just want to see a change log of all of the things that were moved and completed, we can see all of those as well. Personally, this is going to be something within 2025 that I really try and leverage the best that I can to try and execute on a lot of the goals that I have, even for things like how I organize content on this channel. It can be incredibly helpful for brainstorming and also just keeping track of all of the different projects that I often have moving in parallel. Within here, you can also see all of the different tasks that you have assigned you within your inbox. Next, I just want to show you their dashboard feature. So within here, you can have a high level view of all of the different things within your workspace. So you can see the number of tasks assigned per person. You can see the task by assignee as well as the status. Where this shines is definitely in a team setting because you'll be able to see a ton of different metrics across the board and how they're assigned out to different people. And if you're assigning size to each task, you can also spread out the workload with something like that. You can also add in your own charts as well. Let's say I want a pie chart and within the pie chart, I want all of the different statuses per task. Or if I want to change it out and I want the different types per task, you'll be able to see them all within here. Another thing that's great is as you start to add due dates to the particular tasks, you can toggle over to the calendar view and you can see all of the tasks that are either done doing or still need to be actioned and a similar thing on the roadmap view what's great with this is you can just drag out the different tasks and you can really begin to visualize how you want to tackle work so the green will indicate that the task is done the blue will indicate that the task is doing what you can do is you can just drag things up and down push things out if they need to be pushed out and you also have the ability to see what the other weeks look like as you begin to plot those out. But certainly a really nice, elegant implementation of being able to have that waterfall view within the roadmap as well. I've used a ton of these tools, whether it's Asana, ClickUp, a handful of others. And this is a very powerful option, especially for what they charge in terms of the price. Now, there are also a number of integrations. So they have ChatGPT, Notion, Slack, Discord, GitHub, Zapier. Zoho, Pipedream, and a number of others. Last, I want to show you my favorite aspect of the platform. If you go within settings and under the email tab, as soon as you turn on to enable the email integration, once you have that enabled, you can go to a dartboard. You can copy the dartboard email address. There will be a different email for each dartboard. If I go over to my email here, I can go and I can compose a new email. Let's say we have a client that sends us feedback on a project. They say, hi. I received the first iteration of the application. Would you be able to make the following changes by Friday end of day? I want to add in a Kanban board and a calendar view. If I go and I send this to the dartboard, just like that, if I go back to our dartboard, we see within our to do's that we have this message that we got from the email. But now what we can do is if I go and I break this into subtasks, 
where this is useful, it's going to extract all of the context from a potential client's email, and it will give you action items, review the current iteration of the application thoroughly, research and select a suitable Kanban board integration, implement the Kanban board, research and select a suitable calendar view integration. As you can see, this is very helpful and useful especially being able to have something that ties directly into your email like that. But otherwise, that's pretty much it for this video. Kudos to the team over at Dart. This is a really impressive project. I'd encourage you to try this out. This is definitely going to be my project management tool of choice. But otherwise, if you found this video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, until the next one.